What was the craziest substance you ever heard was being used? Petroleum jelly, other forms of lubricant which are designed for more intimate settings that <laughs> with people. What is the fix? What they have to do is identify one or two acceptable substances, but it's MLB approved. If you're found with any substance other than that, you're suspended. Andrew Brandt, former Packers front office executive. Let's get into that Supreme Court case. College athletes are going to have rights beyond this. It's just a matter of when. But let's be clear, this was not a pay-for-play case. Everyone's talking about you're going to pay student athletes, you're going to pay college football and basketball players. No. Mm -hmm. But the language was the NCAA is not a monopoly. You can't do this. And we're going to allow student athletes more rights in the next case, in the next case, in the next case. What do you make of the MLB TSA checkpoints being set up for pitchers? You know, I go back to when I was playing and there were some abrupt changes that we had to deal with. And, you know, at first you're like, ah, this is just a little bit much, but then it goes away and you're used to it. I think the same will be said here. I mean, the optics, of course, are a lot different than anything we've ever seen, but there's layers to it that people forget. I think in two weeks it will be a non-issue. Congrats on this book, sir. We have Mike Tyson on, and Tyson on stage was alternately crying and laughing uproariously. There were times I was sitting there thinking he was going to hit me. I left that interview and go, wow, that was raw. That was just visceral. And then I found out two weeks ago that that show aired on Yes. Spike Lee was watching. And he called up Tyson immediately and said, that's a show, one-man show on Broadway I want to produce. And that's actually where Tyson on Broadway began. What would the one-man Michael K play be called? K doesn't always mean strikeout. Uh, ah. See, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday. And I call you my brother. And I mean that not with that color thing that we call each other brothers with, but a blood soul brother. Mystery guest number two here on this busy Thursday. Now, Rich, you know I ain't never been no mystery. You're the reason why I love baseball, Reggie Jackson. Can you tell me about the night of October 18th, 1977, in which you wrapped up the World Series essentially yourself with three swings? On the last home run, sitting in the on-deck circle, and I saw them go to the mound and bring in Charlie Huff. And in my career, I probably already had 15 homers off knuckleballers. And I looked around and said, they must not know I hit knuckleball. And the first pitch he threw, man, I hit that ball 500 feet. To Tennessee. I wanted to swing and get out of there before they found out. Our final mystery guest is on the phone right now. Rich, on the momentous occasion of your birthday, I'm calling in to say happy birthday and hope you are having a great one. And remember, 52 is the new 51. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was great. What a fun week we've had here. Fun week. <laughs>